Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back. Classic Burning Crusade beta has gone live last night. I managed to get access on my EU account and I logged last night for a couple of hours to test it out and um, I wanted to make a video of first impressions uh, from what have we seen so far in the beta. Of course a follow-up will come after this but let's get right into it. So um, first thing that you notice in the classic uh, Burning Crusade beta compared to classic WoW is that there is no spell batching. Whenever you trade someone it goes straight instant. Even though I'm playing from EU to NA with 140 latency, uh, it, there's that feel that the game feels more natural how it's intended to play. When I AoE farm mobs with Blizzard, the tick goes instantly. Uh, when you buy something from a vendor, they immediately appear in your backpack. There's no delay whatsoever. Um, a couple of things that I've noticed with the mage so far. AoE farming seems to still be working, which is probably reported as a bug as we speak. Uh, spell haste affects the blizzard um, a bar casting. Um, there's no AoE cap implemented and the spell coefficient for blizzard seems to be a little bit higher than usual. My EU mage has about uh, 280 spell power and my blizzard hits for about 210 um, the max rank of blizzard as the lowest rank it's for about 70 or something like that. Things to know is uh, the ZG co coins do not work to turn in, at least at level 60. I'm not sure if anyone tested them at level 58 to see if you can still do it from 58 to 60, but uh, beyond level 60, don't do they, they do not seem to work. Um, dungeon leveling seems to be working just like in classic. For example, last night I went with my Paladin, my level 54 Paladin in uh, um, Zulfarak and I tried to AoE the Graves uh, in one pool as I leveled my Paladin from 42 to 54 there. Um, it seems to be the same. One thing I noticed in Zulfarak, it seems like you can spawn more mobs from the Graves and the mobs have a different um, texture. Some of them have purple hair. Uh, they do seem to hit a bit higher and I'm not sure if this is correct, but I have to test it more. It feels like the leeway is higher, it has a higher range than it used to be in Classic. But I need to test this more and so on. ZG XP, however, with the Mage seems to be on point. I've seen a streamer this morning doing ZG and he was getting like 1.2k XP per croc, which is quite crazy. I'm not sure if they're going to reduce that. Um, maybe ZG boost will still be a possibility. If not, do the mage if they implement the AoE cap, maybe with the Paladin, with Consecration, with uh, uh, area of effect spells that are on the ground since they shouldn't be capped. Uh, I managed to do two dungeons. I've done Ramparts and Blood Furnace. Ramparts gave uh, about two bars of XP and um, Blood Furnace gave a bit more. However, it was a longer dungeon, gave me about 55,000 XP on a fresh uh, 60 group. Uh, we had three very geared players, um, three of them were with gear from um, Naxxramas, I was with gear from Zulgarab on my mage from EU, and we had another fresh 58 character, which I want to talk about. Uh, you, it was a 58 character, a template to play on beta, beta with some gear, but the gear was quite um, scuffed, it was green gear, equivalent in my opinion to level 30 or 40. Um, I'm assuming that that's going to be the gear equipped on the level 58 boost, but uh, I might be wrong. Maybe they give them better gear. I think it's fairly playable with that gear character, so you can do some damage. Other things, um, it feels like the quests would give more XP than the dungeons. You cannot really speed the, run the dungeons because the mobs hit quite hard, especially in Blood Furnace uh, where the, there's some mobs that drop mines on the ground and explosives. They hit for a lot like... One of those mine explodes for 1.8k damage and it seems to be quite um, if you if you don't know how to avoid them basically what i'm trying to say is it can be very hard to do massive aoe pulls in um, the early dungeons however rampart seems to be a bit faster less mobs less xp getting back to the quest i completed the quest from first mob in rampart uh, from the boss that drops uh, a scroll you have to return it to honor honor hold and it gave 20k xp um, it seems like quest could be faster XP than dungeon grind, but yet again, if you have, if you have a perfect setup with geared players, who knows if there's a lot of competition outside, who knows? I mean, there are not that many people right now in the beta, 
first they sent invites to family and friends, then to uh, people that had access to classic beta, like streamers and uh, so on. Normal people um, got invites as well. Make sure you sign in for the beta you opted in. And also uh, check your launcher. It should be under games you, where you select from classic to retail and PTR. It should be classic Burning Crusade beta if uh, you got access. Other things to mention, there was some data mine on the patch. Apparently, we're not sure, it's not confirmed yet, but there's going to be a deluxe package for, um, for beta where you will be able to obtain a mount called Warp Stalker. Um, from what I understand, it's going to be available if you purchase six months of uh, gameplay. But it's not yet confirmed. However, it is in the game files and probably it's going to be in the game. The mount looks pretty cool. I don't know what to say about that. Um, yeah. Other things, uh, my mage didn't have epic mount when um, in, on EU. So I went to the epic mount trainer. The cost of the epic mount, it's 540 gold for the train skill itself and 90 gold for the mount, which makes it a total of 630 gold. So if you want to save some money and don't want to buy on some of your alts um, epic mount now, um, you can wait until pre-patch and probably save uh, two to 300 gold. Who knows um, if this is going to be the final price for the pre-patch, but that's how much I paid for my epic mount, the ground mount, the level 60 mount in uh, beta. 630 gold purchasing the horse plus um, learning the skill. So 540 gold for the skill. Other things that I noticed on the beta, it feels like the leeway has a higher range. I think I talked about that. Uh, Torrent seem to have an increased uh, leeway. Uh, there are a variety of bugs. For example, whenever I die with my mage while doing a being attacked by many mobs. If I die, it seems like I get instant disconnected for a reason, but that's something that they can fix. Uh, whenever I get into PvP, whenever a rogue stun locks me, I get disconnected. But those are issues that can be fixed, of course. There are minor issues with professions, such as um, some gems, like spell haste gems do not apply, which can be fixed. Minor issues. Um, graphics look a bit different. Um... Anyway, uh, probably by the time you will watch this video, I'm going to be live on Twitch. If uh, I'm going to quest to 64, because the beta is capped at 64, if you want to join, and if you want to say hello, come on to my stream on twitch.tv slash frostadamus. And um, if you have any questions, if you want me to test something, I might do it. Um, first, I want to go to 64 on the mage, and I want to test everything. And I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching and we're gonna come with a follow-up to this video as soon as we get to 64 and we test the other dungeons and more quests so far it looks promising um it feels better than classic beta felt in the beginning and uh, i hope we're gonna have a great burning crusade launch i hope we're gonna have a great pre-patch and um till next time stay frosty